The management of Salem University Lokoja said the school will soon establish College of Medicine, Engineering and Agriculture to satisfy the teaming students' desires of studying in the university. This is just as the school has announced November 25, 2022 for the fifth convocation ceremony with 960 students built to receive their degrees. The Vice Chancellor Professor Alewa Johnson Akubo disclosed this during a pre convention press briefing held in the local campus of the university. The Vice Chancellor said that the introduction of new colleges became imperative in view of the high demands from the numerous candidates looking for admissions into the university. He said the cheering news is that during the fifth convocation ceremony coming up on November 25th, the institution will be graduating 960 students in a population of global leaders found worthy in character and learning to be awarded with first class in various disciplines. Johnson Akubo said the convocation for the release of change agents will begin with the convocation lecture with the topic beyond the 2023 general elections, the role of the media in deepening democracy in Nigeria. Scheduled for Thursday, November 24, at the Law College Auditorium. He said the guest lecturer for the topic is a veteran journalist by excellence, Eugenia Abu, the managing partner and CEO, Eugenia Abu Media, and former executive director of programs, Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. Johnson Akobo said that in spite of some challenges, the university has achieved some feats, which include accreditation of all universities' programs by the National University Commission, NUC, and mobilization of its first set of 36 law graduates for the mandatory one-year program at the Nigeria Law School. While appreciating the media, the Vice Chancellor said the media has a great role to play as the watchdog of the society by ensuring that all the electionary campaigns and the conduct of the elections were well reported to the approval and satisfaction of Nigerians and the international community. He concluded that as the 2023 general elections is fast approaching, journalists must not be seen to be biased in any form, but display their professionalism in a plausible way and manner for the development of Nigeria.